I would say that your intuition is like this guide that leads you to more truth, but it's like your mind is your mind doesn't want to go there. Mm. Or uh, maybe maybe it's your mind, but it's really your inner voice. So the, I, I like to make a, a distinction between your mind and your inner voice mm. um, because your mind includes like your intellect, like all of this cool information that you know. But your inner voice is the other part of your mind that tries to, that's like the devil on your shoulder, basically, that mm. tries to convince whatever you are. Uh, I would argue nothing, but okay. it tries to, tries to convince your body um, to align with, that would be on the opposite side of your intuition or like this, this intuitive guidance of, I would say, the universe is really ultimately your, your intuition. I have a video on this on my, uh, on my channel that your intuition is like this little messenger that's coming from the universe itself. Hmm. And so your intuition has so much wisdom and it has much, much, much more wisdom than your inner voice because hmm. your inner voice is trying to convince you to remain me mediocre in life. Oh, um, whereas your intuition is your is like it's more about your is more of your true self telling you how to become ultimately happy even though that's going to require a lot of short term it, it would be interpreted as suffering by your inner voice but ultimately true happiness will, would be more found in looking at life holistically and you have this long term goal in your life you're aligning your passion uh, you like for example in your career, in your career you have the opportunity to do your passion in life and that that could be a, a very good way to follow your intuition and uh achieve what well, i don't think it's really achievement but it's living on the road of happiness mm. uh before you die which is really that's you, to understand how happiness works you have to actually start at your death like okay i'm going to die um mm and just let that reality s sink in that like, okay, this, this thing that I am is going to die. So it's like, you really have to think, well, what, what do I want before I die? What are, and really what that is, is you have to prioritize the, the important things in your life. Um, and yeah, so like having this kind of existential or depression like state where it's like, okay, I'm going to die. And then you realize like, Oh, my family's important. My friends are important. Um, just simple things in life, like a cup of coffee or going for a walk or um, that uh, getting a new dog, for example. Those are very, very precious things in life that you want to, you want to be more present during those moments. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm really passionate about mindfulness and meditation, which can be a tool to be becoming more here and now um, in the present moment to appreciate those things like intuition and happiness and mm -hmm. Simplicity. So this leads to a question that I'm really interested in. It'll take just a little bit of setup, but so you said there's a distinction between intuition and what else did you say? Uh, uh, so there's a distinction between your intuition and your inner voice. inner voice. Those are very different. Okay, yeah. So you talk a lot about the idea of progress, mm -hmm. just in right. like relation to humanity, right? And that. that the ability to make progress is, is more available now because we have access to more information. Is mm, that, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I feel like yeah. you uh, that te point technology, up it's really the sources, uh, globalization, but has created technology. Mm -hmm. uh, the internet, the internet could be the metaphor for m more interconnectedness between ideas. Really. It's not people. It's ideas that are at war with each other and sure. trying to figure out which ideas are the best. Sure. So what is the connection between that, this process, or the, not even the process, um, just knowledge? Right. And so that would be under the inner voice or not, or uh, intuition. The, yeah, you could call, you could call that... Um, because in my mind, yeah. what you were saying before, that aligns with kind of your inner voice. Like it's got some ego attached to it, maybe. Interesting. Is that, or is that a bad way to put it? Because oh, well, in my yeah. mind, I'm trying to, trying to, um, like, intuition. Is that something that can be built yeah. through the acquiring of Yeah, knowledge? Yeah, I, it can be harnessed. Um, I heard that before. I think hmm. uh, actualize.org has a video called harnessing your how to 
harness your intuition. Hmm. Um, so yeah, it can be, it can, it, 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 your intuition doesn't get built, but it's actually your awareness hmm. um, goes towards your gut. And what's that relation? Why does acquiring more knowledge have that effect? Or so why can it? So acquiring more knowledge. So I, I was talking about Ken Wilber. That is acquiring more human knowledge is a different line of development than your awareness becoming more open to your intuition and your true self. Sure. But are they yeah. related? That's a really good question. Um, they are because knowledge, knowledge, human knowledge, like the internet, for example, can either be a tool or a weapon towards you becoming connected with your true self. Hmm. So, um, it, you, it can, it's like a, it's like drugs, right? Like there's some drugs that help you and other drugs that hurt you. And that's what knowledge is. It, it can help your true self or it can help your, your awareness become aware of your true self or knowledge can put you on this path towards, towards dangerous belief systems, which can lead to you killing somebody over an idea. That's a, uh, that's a myth, um, which is extremism, right? So that's that's where, uh, like for example, the internet is the medium that that uh, extremist groups communicate on. So I, I would call that dangerous on one level, on a really deep deeper level. It needs to happen, but on kind of this normal level, day to day level, it's like we we want we want to do something about decreasing uh, extremism in our society. So how how do we how do we uh, how do we go about that? But really, it's it's uh, it, the internet is is the tool for really good things or really bad things to happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But that potential is it's just, just the potential can go either way. Right, right. Yeah. So it's just it's just a tool. Um, I mean, you can use a hammer to build a house, or you can use a hammer to hit your head and kill yourself. <laughs> or I don't know if you could do that, but <laughs> that'd be kind of weird because I think you would maybe die or. <laughs> get knocked unconscious before you can kill yourself. I don't know. That's just kind of fun. To think Pleasant about. thoughts on a Friday <laughs> Pleasant, afternoon. Yeah, Friday afternoon thoughts. Um, but yeah, so that's that's just the nature of things like any human tool, like agriculture or the internet or a ship. Um, the reason why they're not inherently good or bad is that they can do good or do bad. Internet, good or bad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like to joke around just about like oversimplistic thinking because we, we do that because since we're roommates, we, we like to joke around about oversimplistic ideas. Like we say, uh, you know, India, good or bad. And it's like, of Western course, the Western, good. yeah, the earth, good or bad. <laughs> and it's like these really extremely complex uh, entities um, that you try to just say, yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down. Do you like it on Facebook or do you dislike it on Facebook? <laughs> it's like, but our society, a lot, a lot of people are becoming more uh, influenced by that over simplistic way of thinking hmm. uh, by social media, by their, um, yeah, I guess we could just talk about social media since that's more of a new topic, but uh, your friends are another um, source for you to learn about over simplistic thinking. Or if your friends are very wise and interested in life, your friends could, you could use them as a tool for opening your mind and, hmm. 